I don't know how many of you saw my last video or this specific part where I showed you my friend list on my flipping account and it said Zezima please add me. I probably cannot say his name correctly, sorry for that but the next day I wake up, I log into my main account and I get a PM from fucking Zezima himself. Right there he PM'd me. And I, I felt, I don't know what I felt. I mean, it's him PMing me. He's talking to me right now. He doesn't watch any RuneScape videos, by the way. Or maybe from time to time, I don't know. But, you know, when I started playing this game, like, over 10 years ago, I would have never thought that 10 years later, I will be receiving a PM from him. Anyway, this video is about how I train range on my item and account. So please don't tell me to go to Nightmare Zone and use a blowpipe to train because this is Iron Man. So I tried many ways. I tried using Chinchompas, but I don't want to train Hunter anymore because I can catch Dragon Implings already and I just don't see a point in training it at this time. Then I tried using Bronze Arrows on Rock Crabs. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't do that. Rock Crabs are absolute shit. And if you want to get to a very high range level, you're going to need a lot of Bronze Arrows, which is going to take a lot of time to buy. Or it's going to be very painful, because you can buy only 10. So you're going to keep buying, buy 10, buy 10, buy 10, until you have like 200,000 of them. So I discovered Dorgashun Crossbow, it's a very cheap crossbow, it costs like 2000 gold. The only requirements to access this shop is a Lost Tribe Quest, which takes like, I don't know, like 20 minutes. And I took 100,000 gold in this clip to see how many bolts I can buy. And I managed to buy 24,000 bolts, bone bolts, with 100,000 gold. These are extremely cheap. These are like 4 GP per bolt. Even if you have like less than 10,000 gold, let's say 8,000 gold, you still be able to buy 2,000 bone balls. Now, how cheap is that? For Iron Man, this is amazing. Now, listen to this. The requirements to equip a bow is only 28 range. So even if you're very low range level, you can still do this. Even if it's bone bolts, your attractor can, you know, the Abbas device can still attract the bolts. So don't worry about that. And the speed of the bow is faster than most crossbows in the game. So it's going to be faster than a rune crossbow. Now there are a lot of places where you could train with it. And, you know, it really depends on your defense level. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm going to show you what I train. I train at bandits. The reason why is because they are always aggressive if you are wearing a god item. I think it's only Zamorak and Saradomin, so I have a Zamorak Dragonhide on me, and they will always be attacking me. I think most of you know this already because this place was very popular, but then Nightmare Zone showed up and, you know, no one's going to this place. That's really good. It's empty in most worlds. And usually I can AFK for 10 or 15 minutes before I need to look at the screen and you know, eat up a little bit so I don't die. Ring of Life also works very nicely in this place. But what's the best thing about this place is that you don't need to rebank. You don't have to go to the bank to, to get more food or more supplies, depending if you're using potions or not. Any noted items you can bring to this tent and use on this guy, and he's going to unnote you items for 5 GP per item. Like, I didn't know about this place. Apparently, it's quite old. Like, this NPC was added, like, ages ago. But because of Nightmare Zone, just, I didn't know about this. Because who cares about bandits? I mean, it's it's so good. Like, this is what I got from 82 range to 92 that I am right now. In a week or so. Because, well, I play a lot. In a day, I usually get 500,000 experience. Now, also, I want to give you one tip. If you have to go away somewhere, let's say sometimes I have to go and buy some food. So I leave for like half an hour. And actually I can stay in here for half an hour without logging out and still getting the experience. So what I do is I take a super defense potion. I drink it before I go. I equip a battle's helmet and battle's legs for more defense. And that's it. I eat up to full and I leave.
So I did did this a few times. The first time I lasted for 29 minutes. The second time I lasted for 44 minutes before my account logged off. I was recording the whole time, by the way. So I know how long it took me before I logged off. Uh, yeah. And if you have a region bracelet, the one that's made from Onyx, you can last in here for like over an hour. And I hope that this is going to help a lot of Iron Man. Even if you don't train at Bandits, the crossbow and the bolts are just amazing. And that's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching and I should see you in two days. Bye.